All right, so we're going to be doing a little bit of testing here, uh, a little real-world testing in the environment that it's going to be in. It's not going to live here because there's some cooling vents above that radio that I don't want to block, so this is just on top of the radio for convenience of testing and getting it on camera here. So let's test the antenna switch and see how that function works. Antenna switch. So if I've done this right, and it's programmed right and wired right. If I hit the start button, it should change the antenna outside to antenna one and initiate this tuna to go into a tune. Let's see. Antenna one selected. Tuning zero five. Beautiful. Let's go to two. Antenna two selected. Tuning G five on B. Nice. Three. Antenna three selected. All right, so now we're going to test the hue lights. See how that works. Main menu, selector function. Hue lights. Hue lights. Let's press off. Lights off. On. Lights on. Lights dimmer. Lights dimmer. Lights brighter. Lights brighter. Lights off. Lights on. Main menu. Select a function. All right. So everything appears to be working so far. So that's a good test. Um, I guess the future features of this thing is going to be infrared. And that is going to control my TV over here and my air conditioning that's in this room. So I'm hopefully that I can actually turn the air conditioning on via maybe over the internet if uh, before I come home or if uh, I know it's going to be hot, I can actually, you know, I forget to turn it on, I can turn it on. And, you know, also it's voice activated. So once I get a microphone hooked up to this and uh, an external microphone, I can be able to just walk in the room and initiate a on sequence that will turn the TV on, turn the air conditioner on, maybe even turn this radio on, I don't know. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just a pretty cool little project and uh, I can't wait to see how much I can actually do with this thing. Uh, like I said, I put an Adreno Mega in there so it's got tons of I.O. Uh, the only thing I have to fix into it is the Ethernet. It doesn't really have that fixed into it yet because I had some limitations to power on the onboard regulator for that because I had to run the voice synthesizer shield so uh, I'm gonna have to build another power supply for inside the radio that is going to work off the same input power but it's just gonna have its own 5 volt regulation for other things that I want to add in there so yeah it's it's like I said it's growing and it's going to be a pretty cool little project you know and um, if I if uh, you know, I want to add anything in here. It's just a matter of just plugging in a USB cord and updating some code. So that's just pretty cool. Uh, one feature I did add in here antenna switch. is I can actually turn off all the antennas that are actually, if one is turned on, if I hit the zero button, it will ground all the antennas. No power to any antenna is automatically grounded at the switch. So I just press zero. Antenna switch grounded and it just grounds everything in the system outside so that makes things a little bit more convenient if uh, you power this off it also does the same thing it will just automatically ground the system so I hope you enjoyed this little little series on this little project box here I don't even know what to call it yet I haven't named it but uh, when it does have a name uh, I'm going to program it into it and boot up to its name and call it by its name so yeah that's pretty neat so if you enjoyed the video, enjoyed this little series, uh, you know, give it a thumbs up, and uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll definitely be updating you on future features once they uh, become active. So once uh, once that happens, I'll release some more videos on this. But as of right now, it's uh, it's past the first stage of testing. So I hope you enjoyed the video tonight, and have a good one. See you in the next one.